Hey what is up guys, ES1 here, and today's video is about J cuts, and I'm going to be answering two questions. What are J cuts and how to make them, and how to apply them to a video, which I'll also be showing you an example. Now, let's get right into the video. So I went and recorded a example for you guys, so I could show you uh how to make a j cut and answer what are j cuts so j cuts are when you take and when you're done talking in one part you take and cut the audio you take and put it under the audio so it plays the second audio plays before the other one ends so it sounds more like this you use j cuts make instead j of this you use j cuts make j cuts so it just basically improves the overall quality of your video instead of it being a constant like jump cut whenever you're talking now on to how to put them into a video properly now let's get right on to that so is your, here's the example, which is a video I did the sound effects on for my friend, which is freeze frame animations. Now, I used a J-cut to loop the truck engine idling sound for him. Usually it sounds better with a fade out and fade in. So it sounds like this, instead of like this. So then... It goes and fades out with the video. But there are other J-cut-like things uh, that I use to add more sound effects discreetly. Like here, right here. Without the audience noticing all that too much. So it sounds smoother instead of it being janky and cut-like. So a fade and fade out is good for here to loop a sound so that's basically how to add a j cut into any video you need and i think that concludes today's video i will see you in my next tutorial goodbye Yes, what?